Today, we are going to answer the question, can you make money from opening sports cards? Just ripping cards for yourself. Obviously, the inherent answer is yes. There's a lot of ways to make money in cards. What I'm specifically talking about is, can I take this box that I paid $175 for, open it, and get more than that worth of cards? That's the question. Now, what we really should be answering is, can you make money gambling? And obviously, the, the answer is yes, right? But we're going to put it to the test. I've done this before. This is what a lot of people start doing. It's not smart. I mean, you shouldn't do this if you just want to make money. You shouldn't invest and buy sealed product and hold it, other things. But if you, want, if you want a video on how to make money in sports cards, we'll do that next. However, this video is going to just be opening cards and then seeing the value that I could sell them for right now compared to what I paid. Because when I first started, I made the mistake. I bought It was low-end stuff, but I would buy score, prestige low-end products and open them hoping I'd make my money back and obviously I never did because it's hard to do that but now with this new product higher-end products like optic mosaic prism those are like the I'd say the mid-tier the ones that everyone wants I'm gonna open up a mega box an auto mega box I paid 175 I never opened one of these yet haven't gotten the mega we're gonna open this see all the cards see the good cards and compare the prices and see if we can make some money obviously it's a one case by case thing but we're just gonna see it's fun all right so the product i chose is this one autograph one memorabilia 40 cards per box optic mega box this retail oh there it goes my knife this retails for about 50 dollars, and i think i paid 175 for it so obviously that is a like you know 3x type price so we're going to see if, you know, I can make some money back on this product with the prices of cards, how they are. You do get an auto in here. You do get a mem card and you do get a decent amount of rookie cards. We'll see if I can get my money back. I also just really wanted to open one of these because I haven't. And I'm also looking for a Jalen Hurts Brown. So if we get that, uh, you know, that'll that'll be worth it. But we're going to go through all the hits at the end and see which cards are worth are worth what and if we made our money back. So let's just rip it. 10 cards, or 10 packs, 4 cards per pack. Odell Beckham Jr., so I'll put all the just base cards over there. TJ Watt, Deshaun Watson, and Colby Parkinson. So really nothing in that first one. I'm sure if you sold every single card for the sense that it is, you might be able to get a little bit more out of it, but I don't think we're going to go that deep. JJ Watt, Pat Mahomes, Tommy Stevens, and our first card, a Tua Tagovailoa, a, our first rookie Let's go. We were going to take that. That's definitely going to help us out a little bit. The base Herberts are going for like 100 bucks. So if we can pull one of them, we're going to be set. But we got a Tua to start off. So let's see what we can do here. Julio Jones, Stefan Gilmore, a silver Zach Moss. Let's go. And a Jason Huntley. Okay, we're heating up now. We're heating up. I'm liking this. This is pack number four. I'm liking the vibes we got going on here. I'm really liking it. All right, so let's... uh. Let's keep it going. Baker Mayfield, Juju, Drew Brees, and Dalton Keene. So really nothing there. That one was an ouch. They come with these bronze cards, I think, right? They're like bronze. I need one of them. I need a, uh, for, for the Hurts, I need the bronze. Or it's gold, I don't know. Devontae Adams, A.J. Brown. There we go. There, as I speak of it, Javon Kinlaw and Albert Ock, whatever. Yeah, they're not numbered or anything. They're just parallels. I need the bronze and I need the... Uh, I think that's honest and the blue scope i think that's it all right so we're about halfway through now this is pack number six i think yep there's four left dak jimmy g oh jk dobbins bronze and a michael pittman jr this is a nice card that's going to definitely help us out and a michael pittman jr megas are looking really nice these megas are looking really nice i'm liking it all right will fuller Tyreek Hill. All right, this is our auto. This is our auto. I don't think it's a rated rookie, so I'm about to cry. We're going to look at it last. We're going to look at it last. This is probably going to be our mem card. Probably our mem card right here. Devontae Parker, Devin Bush, Calvin Ridley threads, and an Isaiah Coulter. I'm starting to get a little bit sad here. Our, va our, our mojo is leaving. But there's our auto in front of us, and then we have two packs left here. Come on, man. We need something really nice here to end this thing off. Zadarius Smith. Let's get a Herbert, please. Dwayne Haskins, Ayuk, and Christian Fulton. All right. We're getting down to it here. We are getting down to it. That's low. Let's go. Come on. Mike Williams, 
Josh Allen, Michael Thomas, and Gabriel Davis for our last rated rookie there. And then, yeah, so those base. And then we're going to look at our auto here. The, the card in the back is Derek Brown. Okay, under this is Tyreek Hill. And let's just see it. Daryl Taylor on the Seahawks. Bronze sticker auto. Not the exact guy we want to see, but a nice looking auto at least. All right, so what I'm going to do is get all these sleeves and top loaded up. And then we are going to go and look at all of the values of these cards and see if we could surpass our 175. Be right back. All right, here's how we're going to determine the value of these cards. We're going to use the eBay sold page, which is how you, what you should do for really everything. We're going to assume the buyer is paying shipping, so we're not doing shipping. And then we are just going to add them all up and see what we can do. So first off, this Brandon Ayuk Elite Series Rookies. I looked it up. There was only, I think, one sale. It was a bid for $5.50 back in February. So, well, that was literally just a couple weeks ago. So we're going to say... Five bucks for the Brandon Ayuk. Now we're going to go to the Gabriel Davis base rated rookie. I'm going to look that up. All right, for Gabriel Davis, I found a couple listings. The latest one was sold for $3.50 uh, the other day, actually. So we're going to put that down for Gabriel Davis, three fifty, dollars and move on to Michael Pittman Jr. Let's check him out. Latest sale, March 9th, another $3.50. Best offer accepted, we'll say $2.50. Next card, we have Zach Moss Silver. Now we're hoping to get into, you know, a little bit of the higher range. I don't know what the going rate of all the different cards are, uh, like all these type of cards yet. We're hoping it's a little bit more than the other ones since it's a silver, but the latest listing is at 99 cents sold today, so not much there. But it does go up to like 2 to $5. Uh, the other day sold for 5 and 5 or best offer. So I'll say 250 again just to put in the, to put in the middle. Because who knows? It's not helping us that much. Uh, and then we have after this the J.K. Dobbins bronze or gold, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm hoping this one helps us a little bit. Optic J.K. Dobbins. All right, here we go for the J.K. Dobbins. We have one that sold the other day for $6.99. And we have one that sold for $14.95. So we'll go in the middle and say about $9, $10. Bucks. There's eight. Auto is for $89, $13. So we'll, we'll say about $9, 10 bucks. All right, after this, we have the Daryl Taylor autograph card. So if I look this up, we'll see this. Probably isn't going to be a ton. For Daryl Taylor, I see about five bucks, six fifty, seven fifty. We'll say about six dollars. And to end us off, we have our probably best card, the base Tua Tagovailoa, fairly well centered, kind of to the right. We'll see what that goes for. Okay, and here, two sold today. It says 27, but best offer accepted. 17 the other day. That's all as well as today. 19, two for 40. We'll say about $20 for the Tua to help us out a little bit. We'll say each of these base cards, these are all base rookies or just silvers or like inserts. We'll say they're each about 50 cents each. There's 10 there, so that's an extra $5. And then we're not even gonna count the base cards. All right, so that would make our total. I did the math on paper. 54, 25 of what I could sell these for right now after that box so i spent 175 and i made 55 bucks pretty much so we are down bad about 125 dollars ripping is very very dangerous you can lose a lot of money very fast but it is fun so make sure that when you're opening cards you're doing it with money or when you're getting in breaks as well you're doing it with money that you can lose that you know it's not your last dollar you're not banking on getting a herbert auto to pay the bills um but this what this should tell you is the state of the hobby is, it's all talking about the kids can't get cards. Guys, you could buy these, a lot of these cards for super duper cheap. Like, you don't have to buy the most expensive boxes to be part of a, to be part of the hobby. That's what I hear a lot of people saying is it's ruining it for the kids. A lot of kids can get singles. I know they want to open stuff. There's a lot of cheaper options out there as well. That's just something I kind of thought of as I was going through this. But I took an L on this one. I think we're going to make this a series. Can you make money on, for this one, I'll probably just say sports cards. But next one, we'll do like separate products, maybe like a Prism Blaster. Things like that. 
So if you guys liked this type of video where I open stuff and we go through the prices and we know what I make, how, how you can do that type of stuff, let me know. I'll make more. I'll make it. We can make it sort of a series, hoping to bang out three videos a week for you guys. I'm really liking this YouTube. So with that being said, I have to go prepare to stream and open and rip all of this with breaks to make my money back that I lost here. So I will see you all next time later. Oh, yeah. And please subscribe. Thank you.